Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from triangles. In a trapezium ABCD, AB is parallel to DC and DC is equal to 2 times AB. EF is parallel to AB, where E and F lie on BC and AD respectively such that BE over EC is equal to 4 over 3. Diagonal DB intersects EF and G. Prove that 7 times EF is equal to 11 times AB. Now for this question we have to draw a figure. So we will begin by writing the given information along with the diagram first. Now you can see that we have drawn a trapezium ABCD and in this diagram we have taken AB parallel to DC and the length of DC is considered as twice the length of AB. EF is parallel to AB and the points E and F lie on BC and AD. Now the length BE over EC is given as 4 over 3. So this has been marked on the diagram. And finally it is given that DB is a diagonal that intersects EF at point G. Now we have to prove that 7 times EF is equal to 11 times AB. So our focus is on EF that is this line and AB. So here on when we start with the steps, let us focus on the parts of EF and AB. So let us begin with the proof now. So here is the proof and I have considered the figure again over here for easy reference. So in the trapezium ABCD, AB was given parallel to DC and AB was also given as parallel to EF. So in total we can write that AB is parallel to EF and EF is parallel to DC. Since all the three are parallel to each other, now using the basic proportionality theorem, we can say that the side BE over EC from the triangle BCD is proportional to the side AF over FD from the triangle ADB. So here AF over FD also becomes 4 over 3 or 4 is to 3. So let us consider this as our equation 1. Now once we have got this equation 1, let us concentrate on the triangle BDC. So we have the triangle BDC is divided into two triangles that is triangle BGE and triangle BDC. So we have to try and understand whether these two triangles are similar to each other or not. So here you can see I have divided those two triangles into smaller sections. Now here we know that angle B from triangle BGE is equal to the angle B from triangle BDC. That is it is a common angle. Next we can see that angle BGE that is this angle is equal to the angle BDC that is corresponding angles formed because of the parallel lines GE or EF. So we write here, so angle BGE is equal to angle BDC, that is corresponding angles since GE is parallel to DC. Now since two angles are same from the triangle, we can say that triangle BGE is similar to triangle BDC, that is by angle-angle similarity. Now once we have proved that these two triangles are similar, their corresponding sides are going to be proportional. So let us write here. So the side BE from triangle BGE is proportional to the side BC from triangle BDC. Similarly, the side GE is proportional to the side DC. And I considered the side PE and BC because their values are given. And I considered GE because GE is a part of EF where we have to ultimately prove that 7 times EF is equal to 11 times AB. So choose the sides carefully so that they help you in finding what you need to prove. Now once we have done this, let us consider that this is equation 2. Now we know that BE over EC was given as 4 over 3. So let us just reciprocate it and write it as EC over BE. So we get it as 3 over 4. Now once we have reciprocated it, let us add 1 on both the sides of the equal to sign. So we get here EC over BE plus 1 is equal to 3 over 4 plus 1. Now taking the common LCM that is 1 over 1, let us multiply 1 in the numerator with BE and the same thing repeats with the denominator that is times BE. And on the right hand side we are going to do the same. So we are going to write 1 over 1 and taking a common LCM that is 1 times 4 in the numerator and same thing goes with the denominator. So now we can write here EC plus 1 times BE is BE over a common denominator BE is equal to 3 plus 1 times 4 is 4 over a common denominator 4. Now this is the same previous figure I have redrawn for easy reference. So here the side EC plus BE is nothing but the total length BC. So in place of EC plus BE I can just replace BC. So here we have written BC 
over the denominator which remains same is equal to 3 plus 4 is 7 over 4. Now once you have got this, let us again reciprocate it and write it as BE over BC is equal to 7 over 4 becomes 4 over 7. Now BE over BC is equal to GE over DC that is from 2. So that means GE over DC also becomes 4 over 7. So here we can write GE is equal to now taking DC on the other side of the equal to sign. DC multiplies with 4 over 7. So we get GE equal to 4 over 7 DC. Now this becomes our equation 3. Now once we have got this, let us concentrate on the triangle ADB. So same steps will repeat. So it is going to be easier now. So let me draw the triangle ADB. Now here I have redrawn the trapezium diagram for easy reference and as well as the equation 1 which we had formed. Now here we are looking at the triangle ABD. Now this triangle is divided into two smaller triangles as we can see. I have split it up as triangle FDG and triangle ADB. Now let us find out if these two triangles are similar to each other or not. Now again we have angle D as a common angle between these two triangles. So we can say that angle FDG is equal to angle ADB that is the common angles. And we have angle DFG that is this angle equal to angle DAB that is corresponding angles of the parallel lines FG and AB. So we have this angle equal to this angle. So let us write here angle DFG is equal to angle DAB that is corresponding angle since FG is parallel to AB. Now since we have got two angles same, we can say that triangle DFG is similar to triangle DAB by angle angle similarity criterion. Now since these two triangles are similar, we can write the corresponding sides are proportional. So we can write here, side FD is proportional to the side AD and side FG is proportional to the side AB. Now let us consider this as our equation 4. Now we know that AF over FD is equal to 4 over 3. That is from your equation 1 which we had got previously. That is AF over FD was 4 over 3. So here let us add 1 on both the sides of the equal to sign. So we get AF over FD plus 1 is equal to 4 over 3 plus 1. Now again taking a common LCM on both the sides that is 1 over 1. So multiplying FD at the numerator and the denominator we get AF plus 1 times FD is FD over a common denominator FD. Similarly repeating the steps on the right hand side we get 4 over 3 plus 1 over 1. That is 1, 3, taking a common LCM, times 3. We get 4 plus 1 times 3 is 3 over a common denominator 3. Now, if we look at the diagram, AF plus FD is nothing but a total side of AD. So, AF plus FD, we have replaced it with AD over FD equal to 4 plus 3 is 7 over 3. Now, let us just reciprocate it and write it as FD over AD. So 7 over 3 becomes 3 over 7 and from the previous equation 4 we can see that FD over AD is equal to FG over AB. So here we can write 3 over 7 is equal to FG over AB. Now let us just cross multiply that is AB multiplies with 3 over 7. So we get here FG is equal to 3 over 7 times AB. Next one final step is to add equation 5 with equation 3. So adding the left hand side of the equation 3 and 5 we get GE plus FG equal to adding the right hand side we get 4 over 7 times DC plus 3 over 7 times AB. Now GE plus F is nothing but the total length EF. So replacing GE plus FG with EF equal to 4 over 7. Now DC was given as 2 times AB so replacing DC with 2 times AB plus 3 over 7 AB this stays the same. Now simplifying this we get EF is equal to 8 that is 4 times 2 is 8 AB plus 3 times AB. The entire thing is divided by 7 since they have a common denominator. Now simplifying it further we get EF is equal to they are like terms so 8 plus 3 is 11 times AB over 7. Now taking 7 on the other side of the equal to sign 7 multiplies with EF so we get 7 times EF is equal to 11 times AB. This is what we had to prove. So now we can write hence proved. So this is how you had to divide the entire trapezium into two triangles and then you had to prove that the triangles were similar to each other 
and then taking the basic proportionality theorem and making use of the side spin proportional we proved that 7 times EF was equal to 11 times AB. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.